Welcome to Creative Nerds. In today's Photoshop tutorial, we'll be sharing with you how you can create a glitch effect from a portrait photo. So we're using this model image that we've downloaded from Unsplash, and we're gonna create a glitch effect. So we wanna start off by right-clicking on our layer and selecting Duplicate Layer. We're then gonna right-click on that duplicated layer and select Blending Options. And then what we wanna do is uncheck the channel of red and then select OK. We're then going to duplicate the layer once more. Select OK, and I'm just going to hide that new duplicated layer. Go back to the first duplicated layer, and we're just going to slightly offset our image. So it's going to move it to the left. So you can do it as much as you want, just so it, just so it gives it a nice effect. Once, you, once you're happy with it, we're then going to select a new layer and we're going to set the marquee tool, ensure that you're holding onto shift, and we're just gonna draw out some rectangles on our canvas. So you can, it can vary in size, you can create some big, some thin, it doesn't really matter, it's all up to your preference for how you want the final effect to look. And you can add in as many as you want or as little as you want. So, I'm quite happy with that now. So from there, we're going to go over to the paint bucket tool. We're going to select black, so 000, select OK. And then we're just going to fill in our selection. And then from there, we're going to then select that layer and we're just going to extend our, select, our rectangles out so it goes past the canvas. And go back to the move tool and then from there we're going to check our layer that was hidden and we're just going to right click on that layer and select create clipping mask and then from there we're just going to move that layer across just a little bit so it gives that that cool gl glitch effect so let's try and get maybe get her eyes in focus and just move that across And then what we can do from there, we can select the crop tool and we can crop our image. And there you go. That's how you can quickly create a nice glitch effect using Photoshop. Hope it's a useful tutorial and one that you can use in your future design projects. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Creative Nurse for the quick tips on how to use Photoshop.